Alex Scott tells. Go on and on and on. Good evening, and welcome to the Every Sport Possible Network's continuing series of unnecessarily violent sports from down under. Today we present Australian Rules Shopping. I'm Brent Bacon Double Cheeseburger, and I'll be bringing you the blow-by-blow of today's action. Joining me now is the uh, dingo of dairy produce, twice Australian national champion, Shopping Isle Dundee. Good night, Brent. Good night, yes. Good day, Shopping Isle. Can you tell us a few of the rules of Australian rules shopping? Rules? There are no rules, Brent. It's very simple. Each man's armed with a shopping cart. He has to complete his wife's shopping list and get to the other end of his store alive. So, all you need then is a shopping cart. That's not a shopping cart. This is a shopping cart. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you better fasten your seatbelts because it's going to get very exciting as we present Australian Rules Shopping, Shopping Isle Dundee against the Bermuda Select Team. Shopping Isle's opponents today are in lane two, Percy Faith Ralph O'Connor, the East End Champion, lane three, Bertram Utterbridge, the third, two-time winner of the Miles Market Championship, and finally, Mr. Elias Smith, a complete unknown, competing in his first Aussie Rules match. Further starters orders, and they're off. Mr. Smith is off to a shaky start. He seems to have some trouble steering his cart. Well, he's, he's up mid, about to make his first purchase, and it seems to be wheat germ. It's a very unorthodox start, but it is his first match. But in lane two, Bertram is furiously loading up on apple juice. I spoke to him this morning, and he likes his apple juice mixed with gin in the morning. Well, he's gone the wrong way. No, no, he's corrected, and it's off to bait breath. Lane three, bait breath is wasting no time, looking very graceful, very elegant, and it looks as if he's expecting company tonight. Meanwhile, Shopping Isle is showing his experience by going straight for the carbohydrates. On the other side of the store, Mr. Smith is still struggling. He's picked up the economy-sized protein shake, and now he's put it back, and he really doesn't seem to have a clue at all about the competition. Bertram, on the other hand, seems to be taking advantage of today's special in Tinnacle. This really ought to put him into the lead. And of course, what big friend is in the frozen meat section. Yes, he may have found, he found something, yes, yes, he's found it, the frozen coat. That really pulls him up with the leaders. Meanwhile, Shopping Isle is storming through the paper products on his way to, wait, what's this? This is really unusual, folks. Shopping Isle is rarely concerned with his personal hygiene. We're seeing history in the making. Oh, the overhead camera's picked up an in interesting angle. Looks like we're having a, a collision course. Yes, yes, Shopping Isle and Bertram have collided. Shopping Isle is very upset about this. Bertram better think of something quickly. Oh, beautiful reverse mark there, and another escape from Mr. Smith, who didn't even notice it. Wait, what's this? Fake breath is onto something. Yes, folks, it's his patented butter bowl. Oh, as devastating as ever. Shopping house is pulling out all the stops now. With the ninja pizza, one of his favorite moves. That's another close call for Mr. Smith, but Bertram is not so lucky. Oh, that's terrible tomato sauce everywhere. Looks like baked, baked breath is up to something in the baked goods here. Yes, he's found the jelly roll. Meanwhile, back in the competition, Shopping Isle is loading his tomato launcher. He aims and fires and Bertram is hit. Yes, it's all over now. Shopping Isle's making his run for the finish. Yes, that's it, folks. Shopping Isle Lindy is the moon champion and back to the studio.